Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video I will be covering some of the most used tools in the impact suit. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of my channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So Impacket is like a legendary tool, you know, it, it's it's a, uh, I'm calling it suit because it has a lot of tools like uh, this is the repository of Impacket. If you go to the examples and uh, you'll find so many applications here. So uh, this is a very good tool. And once uh, I think this is one of the most used tool when you are doing an Active Directory pen testing or Active Directory engagement. This is very good. And also installation is also pretty simple. So pip install impact it and you are good to go. Okay. So if you want, uh, like if you have some spe specific reasons, if you, if you, you can also download the older versions and you can run. So it's up to you. Uh, in this video, I will try to cover some of the most used tools and this is not the end. There are so many impact it tools, uh, impact it suit based tools, which you can use. So let's start. So let's assume a scenario where you are in an active directory network. Okay. So, uh, so once you're in active directory network, then you may be doing some sort of password spraying and stuff, but let's start with a simple attack. So which is ASRP roasting. So if you want to know more about ASRP roasting, uh, I'll leave the link for my video in the description below so you can go and check that out. So Impacket has a tool, uh, a tool called as get NPU, NP users, and uh, it runs again the target, you know, domain, and you should also provide your domain IP. Okay. And the user's file. So the reason, uh, ASRP roasting is something like which accounts has do not pre auth you know, no pre authentication sort of privilege. So you need to provide a word list of users. So you can find out the valid users using tool like Kerbrut and stuff. So that's up to you. So let me hit enter. And you can see uh, I have a few list of users in my uh, environment, like in my network. And you can see uh, uh, do not pre auth stuff. So it is checking for this privilege and one of the user. So which is named as backup. So that one I set it up intentionally to check this out. And you can see the hash like you can save this hash and you can just crack it using hash get. This is very simple. So this is one of the tool that you can run without credentials in an active directory environment. And there is a good chance because most of the time you can see uh, ASRP roastable accounts and uh, and if you are in sort of CTF and sort of stuff, most of the time they are they can be crackable. OK, so yeah. And the next attack that you can do is like so from now onwards, we will be dealing with tools which require credentials. So let's go with get SPN users. OK, so there is something called as Kerb roasting. So where you try to where a account has an SPN privilege and where you try to get that TGS. So if you want to learn detailed about cat roasting, so I'll leave the link for that. I made a video on that. So this is more about showing you how you can use these tools. So, you know, like, so I have a, I have compromised, assume that I have compromised user called as Tyrell and the password is Tyrell at the red CEO. So this is the thing. And uh, this is the standard format for, uh, you know, uh, uh, impact it. So domain name slash user and colon and, you know, the password. So if you feel there are some special characters, it's always better way to mention them in the quotes. Okay. And then there is this option, like always you can all, you don't need to remember them. You can make a cheat sheet or else you can always go to the help section and you can find out so this is my domain control ip and you know let, let's just see whether there are any accounts that can be kept roasted so once you see that you can see there is an account called as sql service uh, which can be kept roasted so now we can uh, request the hash for that so with the option request and you can see a, a tgs hash here even this you can you can crack it with the help of hash cat. so the code is 1300 or something so i don't remember that exactly but yeah you can find that out from the hash cat wiki as well so and you can crack it and you can use these credentials and you know you can get access to other machines and stuff and now guys like i'll show you how you can obtain the remote code execution or remote command execution through the help of impact at suit. So there is a legendary and one of the most popular tool called as PSXEC and there is something like SMB exec and WMA exec like I'll cover those as well. So you can once you get a valid credential. So whether it whether it can be from you know, a cat brochure cat account or ASRP roastable account. So somehow you got credentials so you can try them out. 
okay so it's domain so i'll also show an other variant as well so the tyrell and the tyrell co at the rate you know the uh, the ip that you want to connect to it it doesn't always need to be you know domain controller ip so here i only have domain controller to show you guys so that's the reason that's the only ip i have but you can always try these passwords on you know other uh, accounts as well so let me hit enter so for PSXEC, you need to have an account, okay, which has privilege to write on any of the share so that it executes, you know, like it uploads a, uh, a reverse shell and it gets the shell. So if you, if you type who am I, you can see it's anti other T system. So when you are able to successfully exploit using PSXEC, you will always have the highest privilege. So it may not always, always be the case in when you're doing, uh, you know, a CTF and sort of stuff and also you have few options like you know uh put okay uh i think upload sorry not put uh upload and you know uh file upload download sort of stuff as well from here put get sort of stuff you can do that and then you can always hit exit or else control c it's fine so uh and one more thing guys like uh i'll show you one thing so impact it secrets dump okay so you can dump secrets like hashes or sam whatever it is from any ip that you got so even the format is same so the domain tyrell and stuff okay so you got hashes here you can see that uh, you can see the sam hashes these are some local sam so local accounts uh, these are some uh, lsa secrets uh, yeah these are the domain hashes so for example this is my hash so you can also pass this hash okay so that's what i'm trying to say you can also pass this hash to the like psxec smbxec and all the stuff that you can show i'll try to show you that so uh, let's uh, let's remove this password okay so if i type hyphen hyphen help uh, you can see there is an option called as hashes yeah hyphen hashes you need to provide lm hash as well as nt hash so it's full hash so that's the reason i copied that okay so so you can see even with the hashes as well you can log in to the psxx so this works even for other stuff as well like uh, smbxx and wmix and also sometimes uh, not all the times you may uh, the account that you got may be a local uh, like the domain account sometimes it may be a, a local account so in those cases you can remove the domain name okay so uh, like tyrell here is like uh, a, a local user as well so that's the reason i got the shell so yeah you can if you get a credentials it's always better to try both the ways like with the domain account as a domain account account as well as a normal account so just do that and like psxec uh there is this uh you know uh yeah uh smbxec as well so like psxec tries to leverage you know by leverage the shell using by uploading some file so you know sometimes if the uh, system is if your target is having antivirus it gets picked up so uh, here it uses smb purely so if you want to read more about that you can go through the uh, repository and you can find them out so if you type, if I type who am i you can see even it is anti-authority system here so sometimes most of the time you may not get anti-authority system here uh, sometimes you may get as a normal user but here the user that i compromise is a domain admin so that's the reason you can see it like this but if in your case it can be a bit different so even for smbxec you can provide hashes you know like works fine so now let's try wmixec so for here if i type who am i i think it may not be entry authority system you can see it's a normal account so it uses wmi service to you know exploit and you can get it so like you always have three stuff like you always have all these stuff guys like you can uh most of the time to be honest like if you're in a real time network then psxec won't work because the shell that it uploads is very simple and it gets detected so that's the thing so you can it's, it's always better to know uh, these other tools as well so wmxec is done even for wmxec you can pass the hashes using same option and there is one more tool called as atxec so this is also a very good tool so but here the uh, process to run this is a bit similar so you need to run a command at the end like for example it, it may be who am i so you can see who am i so 
it is anti authority system here so because he is the domain admin so yeah like this you can pass you know a reversal a python reversal and stuff and you can get the uh, a session so it's always better so once you have credentials it's always better to try everything until or unless you feel that this is not useful for you okay so that's it for psxec smbxec wmxec and atxec and i will start showing you some of the utilities that you can always use so the first one is lookup sid so this tries to dump out all the users on that particular machine so you know like not all the time you can get credentials you know not all the time you may get into that system with those credentials so he may be a normal user but once those credentials are valid then you can always use this lookup sid and the format is very similar okay i think even for this i think there is hashes i'm not sure well, let's see help so it's all you can always refer to the help so yeah you can even for this i think for all impact stuff you can use hashes <clears throat> okay so whatever it is it works fine so that is one thing so uh look up okay so look up sid and there is something like uh, services so impact uh let's just edit this whole commands okay so it's better like that it's just services okay so let me hit enter so you can also see the service information like you can start remotely as well if particular service and stuff okay so even that works like we will not do all those stuff i'll just show a simple option uh, which is list so it lists all the services that are running on that system so and also the state as well so you know like you can just provide the name here and uh, you know the name of the service and you can just click on run and that's it start and the service name and it works fine so yeah that's a good thing so like it may be useful in some situations where when your target is running some vulnerable service so maybe like you may not find that out in an nmap scan or sort of stuff so in those cases you can see the based on version you can try to find that out okay so that's one thing and there is something called as smb client so even for this the syntax is same so this smb client is like uh, it's the best tool the reason why i'm telling you is like you have a lot of options to do like uh, if you take a general smb client you just connect to a particular share and you try to do the stuff but here you can just connect to that particular server and you know like you can find out the stuff so if i do help here so you can do something like uh, you know uh, list shares yeah shares you can just run the option shares okay so you can uh, use a particular share i guess so yeah use and share name so if you want to connect to syswall so you can just use syswall uh, this is the option like if you have an access so if i do an ls you have your options like you can dump them you can download them very simply so m get star and stuff you can download all that stuff as well so this is a very good tool like uh, once you get credentials right then you can uh, you know no one can stop you like you can go through all the shares that the server offers and you can get it and it also offers you know smb connection as well so i didn't try that out but you guys can always try that out as well so yeah if you can always hit exit and you can come out and also let me show you briefly about the secret stem so this is a very good tool i'll be very honest like most of the time if you have a credential always try to dump something from there and it's it doesn't always need to have a password you can also mention the hashes like lm hash as well as the nt hash so it's full you can find that out very simply okay so you know you can, there are other options as well like you, if you want any specific stuff like uh, just dc user you know like extract only entity just from specific user so only dc stuff okay uh, and sort of stuff you know like you can just always uh, do that so there is something called as sam as well so it only dumps sam if you want ntdh dot it only does that okay so yeah and also sometimes you may find out this uh, you know like uh, oh, sorry this sister sam and stuff are a bit different like sometimes when you are doing you know when you are on windows you may find a copy of you know a system and sam file so in those cases you can use this option like this Okay, you can just provide the file like this hyphen system okay and just provide the file name for example it may be system so and sometimes it's going to be sam and the file is going to be sam and just give option local okay so th that what it does is like this sam and system files are you know like they you cannot read it so this particular tool tries to make it simple 
okay so they it will give you in a normal hash format like this username uh, lm hash as well as the ntlm hash uh, ntlm hash format and which you can use it to crack or you can pass it to the other tools so that is one good advantage you have with the secret stem so uh, there are other tools as well which does the same you know once you find the sam and uh, sam and system but i felt the secret stem all the stuff that secret stem does does is more reliable like i saw other stuff other tools you know missing out few stuff but it's always up to you you can use anything you want so i think that is it guys like there are so many tools like you can host an smb server ntlm relay and all i'll try to cover them in the next video and if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this pen testing sort of stuff this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you for watching this video till the end